Walking around Victory Road must be really, really uncomfortable and creepy. Where you can at any time get attacked by a Machoke, who, in, for all intents and purposes, is a giant man who tries to <laughs> grapple you and throw you. Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, Sailor Rocker Old Man Surge. They really couldn't figure out electric trainers, could they? Sailor? Yeah, sailor. Moon. How how about technician? Is is moon. that more than seven characters? Probably. Yeah, it is. Okay, so he's got lots of water types. Okay. Uh, yeah, they with Technic. Executor, Jinx. I think. Well, never mind. Machamp is fine. Yeah, Machamp yeah. is fine. He seems to be a solid one to pick if you just, you know, an emergency guy who hits hard. I like the orbs of electricity in the gym. Forgot the awesome noises Golduck makes. This is one of the reasons why Golduck is one of my favorite Pokemon. Takedown, okay. Also, how do you get onto this gym platform? Uh, I need like a, a wide shot again. Well, it's being suspended by chains in the middle of a, an open area. I would assume we're, we're off up somewhere in a stand that's off screen. And that we're throwing the Pokeballs down onto the uh Oh, onto so we're just stage. trapping the Pokemon on there? Yeah, and if they fall and die, they fall and die, I guess. <laughs> How do like we get the ball back? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I've never thought about that. When, when they throw a Pokeball... It opens, the Pokemon comes out. How did they get the Pokeball back? Well, in the anime, it tends to, like, fly back to their hands. Okay, because I haven't watched the anime in a really, really long time. Like, I was 10 the last time I was watching that, and I'm 27 now, so I don't yeah. remember. That's, that's like, manga, from my memory. The manga's version was that the Pokeballs pretty much were part of the Pokemon in some way because whenever they wanted to return the Pokemon they would just go back into the ball themselves and then the ball would jump at the trainer. Okay. That's actually kind of terrifying. So it's like wizard shit. Got it. Yeah. And empty Pokeballs would cause a smoke cloud to appear so they double the smoke balls. Oh. Ow. Ow. Okay. Ice Punch was right. Yes. The size difference is comical. <laughs> it doesn't look like a bird, it looks like a bug, it's so tiny. Yep. That's a good death animation. That is, is pretty this, great. Spiro for air? There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Alright, what's he got? Choplore! Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> Man, we're doomed. How are we gonna deal with Choplore? Make our own lore. This probably a one shot, right? I mean, it's only first form. Thank God. I was a little worried he might have a rock move. I don't like how his arms attach. Yeah, I don't remember actually. Um, Machop, where do you catch that in Gen One? Rock Tunnel? Fuck, no idea. Sounds right. I think it's Rock Tunnel one of the caves. Is that the only cave he's in? I think it might be. Yeah, because he doesn't show up in Mountain Moon at all. He doesn't show up in Seafall Island, I don't think. Victory Road has Machoke, I think. I think it also does have Machop at lower levels. It probably does. Okay, we're actually against Electric types here, so Dugtrio. Wow, Dugtrio's gonna mess them up. So the bad. for uh, Porygon. Yeah, and then Executor, because he resists electricity, I guess. I really like this song. Doug Trio versus Peak Ace. Yeah, the Pikachu cry isn't nearly as good as if you have an actual Pokemon Yellow Pikachu. Because then they they got like the the anime voice acting, which is way better. Yeah. That's a terrible animation for Body Slam. Backflip into like just a mad face. <laughs> yeah, that was like Back splash. That, face that was going to lead into a finger wag. Ooh. Ah. The finger wag is what does the body slam. Yes. 
It's way too sad looking when it faints. <laughs> You'd think it would just have like a cartoony like swirlies over the eyes and it like staggers around and falls over, you know, like like a children's cartoon, you know, not no. he starts crying and falls to the ground limp. It's a real good thing that Toxic isn't around yet. I like this color scheme, by the way. Uh, Magnemite Magnemace. falls apart. Yeah, but it's like you can put it back together. You know? It's, it's no, inorganic. It's dead. No, it's dead. It gets a swirly eye. Why can't everything yeah, have a swirly yeah, but, eye? But then it dies. The... It's fine. You can put it back together. Look, if my Machamp's arms fell off, I'd be more concerned than if the screw fell out of a Magnemite. I can put that back in. Worst case scenario, you go to a hardware store and you get a new one. They got Alan Rich's gerbil feeders, toilet seat, electric feeders, trash compactors, digital extractors, shower rods, and water mirrors, walkie talkies, copper wires, safety goggles, ready tire, BB pellets, rubber mallets, fans, dehumidifiers, picture hangers, paper cutters, waffle irons, window shutters, paint removers, paint removers, ma masking tape, and plastic gutters, kitchen faucets, folding tables, leather shrimping, jumping cables, hooks and tackle, grout and tackle, power fogger, spoons and later, pesticides, fumigation, high performance lubrication, metal roofing, waterproofing, multi purpose insulation, air compressors, brass connectors, wrecking chisel, smoke detectors, tire gauges, hamster cages, thermostats, and bug, bug deflectors, trailer hitch magnetizers, automatic circumcisers, tennis rackets, angle brackets, duracells, and energizers. Soffit, soffit panels, circuit breakers, vacuum cleaners, coffee makers, calculator genera generators, matching salt and pepper shakers. Man, that was awesome. I, di I didn't have to do commentary for like two minutes there. I tried to learn that song years ago and never could. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Weird Al, go go look up Hardware Store? Is that what it was called? That's Wait, it. yep. It's like what the best the song ever made. Okay, okay, Doug Trio is still great. <laughs> Uh, Albuquerque is a good contender for one of his better songs as well. And I have memorized the entire thing. It's just 10 minutes of rambling. I have never heard that one. Also, there was oh, a doorbell. Oh, do you want me to recite it right now? <laughs> no. Uh, Thank you. I will have edited out the doorbell in the background in case either of you heard that, by the way, because I'm at work. Um. This, th this is why, like, other people always answer the door. It's like... I can't. I we had to order. Are we gonna collide underground? <laughs> no, we're just gonna miss. If he spams dig, he'll win eventually. I should just rock slide next time. Oh my god. How do you miss? <laughs> you know that. Oh come on! We got crit. Oh my god. Okay, rock slide it is. All right. How much are we doing? Oh, his name is Growth. What an awful name. <laughs> That's my other name. Uh, he's actually going to knock us out. Yep. Oh my god. Annihilated. No, it's fainting, like, as a show. Alright, well, we still have Vaporeon, and he's mostly got... Fire types. He's got a few poison types, but whatever. It has to make up for lost ground. Man. If he didn't have Dig, this probably would have been another really quick sweep. Ride that yep. Surf. Ride that surf! <laughs> it's not... It's not a grammatically correct sentence, is it? I like that death animation so much. I don't know. Why don't we wait and see? Oh, Nidon. <laughs> I, I like that weird <laughs> sassy animation. It's so weird. Alright. How much is this gonna do? Okay. Oh. Alright. Okay, very happy that missed. I Let's use Surf. And he's like, you know what I'm going to use? Thunder. With my Nidoran. Alright. 
What's next? Is that it? No. One left. Oh. God, of course he would use the least things were effective against. It's, it's Mitter and Mail. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in one minute. The doorbell rang earlier, and then now I hear hammering. That sounds like it's within the house, so I'm just going to go make sure my home wasn't invaded. BRB. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I, I, I went and checked. It was uh, not a home invasion. It was... I found no one. And <laughs> so I walked around. No one was there. A post in the in the backyard that's used to hold up the fence was gone. And then I looked out front and saw a car driving off that I vaguely recognize as probably the handyman. I don't know why he randomly showed up and then fixed a thing in the backyard, uh, but he did. So, okay. Well, he probably noticed it when he when they fixed the air conditioner at your house. Uh, no, it was, it was a different guy who is here this morning oh. working on other stuff like, who works with the landlord. It's just, he, he said like he was going to fix the fence at some point and they just randomly showed up and just randomly did it. So I, I'm guessing the doorbell was probably just to try and tell someone inside like, hey, I'm just going to go walk around the side and fix the fence. Yeah, then if since nobody was there, he's like, well, I'll just fucking do it while they're not here. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. All right, on to Surge, finally. Why is why is Machamp's lips fucked up in that screen? I don't know. A lot Look messes at him. up here. Yeah, his lips are messed up, and so is his head. I think it's an emulator glitch. Um. Okay, Doug Trio looks very nice here. Uh, Executor, because it resists it in Machamp again. Sure. Now let's yeah. hope they don't all outspeed us and use Dig. I mean, Machamp also has Dig, so that is yeah. true. And the defender of electric Pokemon. Uh, what? Are, what does that he mean? True pride is the defender of electric Pokemon. What does that mean? Like, are, are electric Pokemon prosecuted in this world? Is there something I should be aware of? Oh, yeah, apparently, um, apparently that animation there of surfing on his own tail is part of what may have inspired Alolan Sandslash all these years later. You mean Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu, not Sand Slash. That is correct. Sand Alolan Sand Slash is Ice type. <laughs> yeah. There's also a theory that the surfing Pikachu in the anime was what partially inspired Alolan Raichu yeah. because even Alolan Raichu's eyes look different, as were the surfing Pikachus in the anime. Huh. Interesting. But what and, about the surfing and, Pikachu and, and, and the that? psychic, like the psychic feelings of the um of the surfing Pikachu in the anime, like he was able to sense the waves with psychic energy was probably also some somewhat of a reference to that. I like Magneton a lot. It's a shame that in Gen 4 they made Magnezone, which is so horrifically ugly and looks like it was made with a completely different art design in mind. Yeah. Okay, if all of you has got for me is takedown, then I'll just keep... <laughs> then I'll just keep using Dig. This is actually really funny. These two Pokemon are just three of their first form smashed together. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah, me too. I... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that actually looks really good. They, like, line up for it. See, that's why Magne Magneton is uh, awesome. Is Yeah, it's just three of the regular one, but they actually, like, have a different personality and, like, work together. And the animation's mm -hmm. really good and the way they move around. It's great. They die the same, though. They just explode into their bits. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, what have you got? You haven't hit me once yet. Please, you self-destruct. It'll be hilarious. It can't. Oh, yeah, last Pokemon, right? Okay, well, if all of these got is Swift, then we probably win. Unless he, like, crits a whole bunch of times in a row and somehow Dig doesn't kill him? I do like that Doug Trio has its own dig animation. Yes. <laughs> There's something so dodgy looking about that. Wow. Okay. I also like that Electrode has two two eyebrows, but one of them is made out of two pieces. I'm just going to use uh, Dig again, because Rockslide might miss. 
If he crits, I'll yeah. get taken out underground, but we've got two other Pokemon. We'll be fine. The underground attack continues. What a furious battle. Man, this is a furious battle, guys. Okay, it actually reasonably could crit here. Of course it did. Of course it did. It's yep. All right, all right. We can't just have a clean sweep. I get it. Uh, executor. Machamp. We could just use Machamp and use Dig. <laughs> yeah, and take two hits that we didn't need to. We'll take it out in yep. one Egg Bomb or Mega Drain or whatever. Uh, egg Bomb. And what's the worst he can do to us? Thunder? We'll be fine. Paralyze you. Whoa. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's weak. Yeah, he could he could have paralyzed you, and then like you miss like all your attacks. I wouldn't pat put it past Star Luck on that happening. No, I wouldn't put it past this either. All right, all right. Give us the key to to the next game. On to the next gym. Woo! So, Brandon, do you remember what gym the game actually starts getting hard at? Uh... The end? It's basically just the eighth gym, then? I would say it's probably just the eighth gym. So not even the psychic gym? That's not too bad? No. Okay. No, I think I, think I actually swept my way through the, the psychic gym. Hmm. Yeah, the 8th gym gave me a bit of trouble, and I think the Elite Four were fucking lame. So. You know, I bet you Doug Trio would be really good in the Psychic Gym, because it's Physical Attacker who hits hard and fast. Okay, what am I looking yeah. at here? Um, I'm seeing a lot of normal types, so Machamp, uh, Cubone, so Executor Vaporeon would be fine. I'm going to go Vaporeon, and Paris, so... Vaporeon's Jinx. Aurora Beam will help with that, but yeah. Oh, Jinx yeah, yeah. Jinx, Dice Punch, yeah. Okay, those three are fine. I do like that each area has a slightly different arena. That's fine. Do you like the green fire? The green fire I like because it reminds me of the forced temple in Ocarina of Time. I was going to say the uh, pyramid in uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Ah, uh, okay. That I have less good memories of that. Um, <laughs> goes to show nice you what, drop uh, kick. Goes to show you what kind of memories you and I like prefer to hang on to. Yeah, because I played a ton of that game too, but I hated those levels. Whereas, like, um, <laughs> Ocarina of Time, it's not that I like love the Force Sample or anything. I just always thought Colored Fire looks really cool, and that temple had a lot of that. I love the dropkick animation with my dinky little, like, never done a squat in his life legs. <laughs> okay. I want my champ to evolve and have four legs. <laughs> it does, like, weird spider running along the ground. <laughs> you know... I just thought of something. Walking around Victory Road must be really, really uncomfortable and creepy. Where you can at any time get attacked by a Machoke, who, in, for all intents and purposes, is a giant man who tries to <laughs> grapple you and throw you. Like, you can get assaulted by roaming gangs of giant buff men who try to throw your Pokemon. That's terrifying. They're like giant buff men with like a dinosaur face. So it would be like getting it would be like getting attacked by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles everywhere you go. Could you imagine walking around Icy Path in Gen 2 and you get attacked by a Jinx? You just pop around a corner and there's this weird looking psychic ice type like minstrel show blackface thing. Of course I got frozen. And is so proud of itself when you look at its face. <laughs> and switching to Jinx. Jigglypuff is Jigglypuff's so proud of itself in every game. Have you ever faced a Jigglypuff in Smash? Oh yeah, can't you actually thaw yourself by using a fire move in Gen 1? Oh, I have no idea. I don't, I don't remember, remember which uh, Mother that to happen. Fucker. Will this 
Speaking of Jigglypuff and Smash, look, it just used Rest. Yeah, that should have killed yeah. you. <laughs> I mean... And put a flower on your head if it's a later game. If it was close enough, maybe. Nice! Nice! Close oh enough, my like, god! Like, right on top of you. <laughs> yeah, there went the battle! Stop moving your mouth around like that, Jinx. Stop doing that. It's weird. Yay! Die, lass. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What she got? I like how Erica doesn't have her eyes open. <laughs> She's just, like, sleepy over there. That's... Those are weird things to have in the grass gym. Uh... Executor... I'm fine with... Doug Trio has Rock Slide for the flying types. And... And Jinx, Jinx for the dragon types. Yeah, J Jinx for dragons. Yeah, sure. Jinx is actually good against four of those things. Also, yeah. can we address that the fact that his Dratini, her Dratini is called Teeny D? I didn't yeah, notice. That weird. Oh, that's a cool color scheme. They go into battle -na -na -na. The What's everyone's mm. opinion on Sea King? Aside from, C -King. aside C -King. from, of course. Hank of the Hill. I'm not a big fan of Sea King. It's one of those Pokemon I end up forgetting about. Okay. Not huge on it. I used it in the randomizer, but still not huge on it. It's a Pokemon that I think is kind of cool, but I, I never end up using. Nice. Like, like it, it would never be my first choice for a water Pokemon. Yeah, like, if I'm looking for a water, like a Gen 1 water Pokemon, and I just want something that I like... You know, uh, Gyarados, Tentacruel is awesome. Golduck. Golduck, I like Golduck. I like Kingler. I actually like a lot of Gen 1 water types. Kingler? Ki I love Kingler. Kingler is cool as fuck. I love the way he runs around and, like, scurries sideways. Um, In this game, it's be he's beautiful. Yeah, he's hilarious. Okay, I'm switching to Jinx. Um, yeah, like... Honestly, I can't think of a water type that I don't like in Gen 1. I really like Gen 1 water types. They're pretty creative. You know, there's like Shelder, he's cool. Cloyster, he looks a little weird, but it's a cool idea. Um, I can't really think of a, a Gen 1 water type that I think is like particularly lame or uninteresting. Yeah. Even Slowpoke has its merits. Yeah, Slowpoke is cool. Slowbro and Slow King in Gen 2. That's a cool evolutionary line. Poly, a uh, poly whirl, I think, is really cool. There's something I like about how it looks. Ooh, okay. Oh, well, I guess yeah. it doesn't have much health, does it? Dratini is pretty weak. What the? Fuck? I know, right? <laughs> I don't know who came up out. with that idea. Like when when they were thinking, like, how, what does a Dratini look like when it faints? Why did they decide that? Taxidermy it, making it into a cane. I'll just keep attacking, because no. continues aren't a thing, so... This will probably take us out. Ooh. I actually like how that looked, where it's like the speed lines and like... Something about the way the Rhyhorn moves puts over its weight, you know? Yeah. Because Rhyhorn must be really heavy, right? You know what? I would put it. I wouldn't put it past the Pokemon Company to have like him weigh like almost nothing. Sizes are deceptive in Pokemon. Like tallest Pokemon in Gen One is Onyx, right? It's like twenty-eight feet long. I don't know. I think it might actually be exactly twenty-eight feet long. Someone might need to look that I up. Dragonair also having a weird uh, height. Yeah, I believe Dragonair is actually taller than Dragonite, but it's. You know, it doesn't actually stand taller. It's the length is longer, but because, you know, part of it's, like, snaked out on the ground, it looks shorter. Ry Rhyhorn is only uh, 253 pounds. Oh, by the way, someone told us in the comment section that apparently Gengar is actually slightly smaller than Haunter. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I don't really know why it's smaller. Apparently, it's, like, a very small difference. It's, like, a couple inches, but it is smaller. Something that I've always thought was funny is that Charizard's only like, what, 
Uh, like four foot five or something? Charizard is... Why do they do it in meters, man? I just want feet and inches. Because Canada. Uh, he's five foot seven. Uh, I like... I like Doug Trio. I like Machamp. Jinx. And I like Jinx. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Okay, next episode, everybody. We do all of those. Charizard is shorter than Venusaur. Really? Yeah. I mean, huh. Venusaur has the, the stalk growing above him. So. Okay, because Venusaur is really low to the ground, you know? It's like a frog kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, all right, next episode, everybody. We take care of Cool. Yay. Unfortunately, I don't know the weakness of Cool. I am unfamiliar with the concept. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. I'm going to have to lower that in post. <laughs> <laughs>